the F-22 Raptor, a name that echoed through the halls of aviation history, a legend born from the fires of the Cold War. The Raptor was conceived as the ultimate aerial predator, a technological marvel designed to dominate the skies. Its stealth capabilities were unmatched, rendering it virtually invisible to enemy radar. Its speed and maneuverability were unparalleled, making it a force to be reckoned with in any dogfight. The F-22 was a testament to American ingenuity, a symbol of power in an increasingly uncertain world. But time waits for no machine. As technology advanced at an unprecedented rate, even the mighty Raptor began to show its age. New threats emerged on the horizon, demanding a new breed of air superiority. The call went out for an evolution, a transformation that would propel the Raptor into the future of warfare. This was not simply a matter of upgrading outdated systems, it was about reimagining what the F-22 could be, pushing the boundaries of what was possible in aerospace engineering. The challenge was daunting, but the stakes were too high to ignore. The future of air dominance and perhaps the fate of nations hung in the balance. And so, from the drawing boards of the world's leading aerospace engineers, a new vision began to take shape. The legend of the Raptor was about to be reborn. The task of resurrecting the Raptor demanded an unprecedented alliance. Lockheed Martin, the original architect of the F-22, would provide the foundational expertise. SpaceX, known for its revolutionary contributions to space travel, would lend its knowledge of advanced materials and propulsion systems. NASA, with its unparalleled understanding of aerodynamics and flight control, would help to refine the Raptor's already impressive performance capabilities. And then, there was Area 51. Shrouded in secrecy and steeped in legend, Area 51 was rumored to house some of the most advanced technology known to man. Its involvement in the project was a closely guarded secret, but whispers of revolutionary new weapon systems and mind-boggling artificial intelligence quickly spread through the defense industry. This unlikely alliance, each member bringing its own unique strengths to the table, formed a formidable force in the world of aerospace engineering. Together, they embarked on a mission to create a weapon unlike anything the world had ever seen. The future of air power was being rewritten, and these were the architects of its destiny. The transformation of the F-22 was nothing short of revolutionary. At the heart of the upgraded Raptor lay a pair of revolutionary new engines. Developed by SpaceX, these engines combined the raw power of traditional jet turbines with the efficiency and precision of ion propulsion. The result was an aircraft capable of achieving hypersonic speeds while maintaining incredible fuel efficiency. The Raptor's already iconic wings were also redesigned, incorporating advanced morphing technology. This allowed the aircraft to seamlessly alter its wing shape in flight, optimizing lift and drag for any given situation. The result was an aircraft that was as agile as it was fast, capable of outmaneuvering any opponent in the sky. But the most significant upgrade lay in the Raptor's new brain, a state-of-the-art artificial intelligence system. Developed in the depths of Area 51, this AI was capable of learning and adapting at an astonishing rate. It could process vast amounts of data in real time, providing the pilot with unparalleled situational awareness and decision-making capabilities. Finally, the Raptor was encased in a revolutionary new type of armor. Developed using nanotechnology, this armor was both incredibly lightweight and incredibly durable. It could withstand direct hits from conventional weapons, and even offered a degree of protection against energy-based attacks. The result was an aircraft that was as tough as it was technologically advanced. The reborn Raptor was not simply an isolated weapon but a vital node in a vast and interconnected military ecosystem. It could seamlessly share data with other aircraft, ground troops and even satellites, creating a real-time picture of the battlefield unlike anything seen before. This allowed for coordinated attacks with pinpoint accuracy, minimizing collateral damage and maximizing strategic advantage. Imagine a squadron of Raptors, streaking through enemy airspace at hypersonic speed. Their AI systems, working in perfect harmony, identify and prioritize targets with ruthless efficiency. Data is relayed instantly to nearby warships who launch a barrage of precision-guided missiles. Meanwhile, ground troops receive real-time updates on enemy positions, allowing them to maneuver with unparalleled tactical awareness. This was the future of warfare, a symphony of data and destruction, orchestrated by the Raptor and its interconnected allies. It was a force multiplier unlike any other, giving those who wielded it an insurmountable advantage on the battlefield. Section 5, Raptor vs. Fencer, A Clash of Generations The desolate skies over a remote corner of the Pacific Ocean provided the backdrop for a clash of generations. A lone F-22 Raptor, its sleek silhouette a blur against the setting sun, faced off against a squadron of Soviet-era Su-24 Fencers. The Fencers, once formidable strike aircraft, were now woefully outmatched. As the Fencers lumbered into range, the Raptor's advanced sensors detected their every move. 
The pilot, his eyes glued to the holographic displays filling his cockpit, calmly assessed the situation. The Raptor's AI, analyzing the fencer's every twitch and turn, calculated their trajectories with chilling accuracy. Target locked, the pilot murmured, his voice betraying no emotion. With a flick of his wrist, he unleashed a volley of hypersonic missiles. The missiles, their engines blazing, ripped through the air leaving trails of fire in their wake. The fencers, caught completely off guard didn't stand a chance. One by one they erupted into balls of fire, their twisted wreckage plummeting towards the unforgiving ocean below. The engagement was over in a matter of seconds, a testament to the overwhelming technological superiority of the reborn raptor. Section 6, Man and Machine, The Indomitable Spirit of Innovation For all its technological marvels the reborn raptor was more than just a machine, it was a testament to the indomitable spirit of human ingenuity, a symbol of our unyielding desire to push the boundaries of what's possible. It was a reminder that even in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges, we find a way to adapt, to innovate, to overcome. The Raptor's development was a testament to the power of collaboration, of bringing together the brightest minds from different disciplines and backgrounds to achieve a common goal. It was a reminder that innovation knows no boundaries, that true progress requires us to break down barriers and embrace new ideas, but perhaps most importantly, the Raptor was a reminder that technology for all its power is merely a tool. It is the human element, the courage and ingenuity of the men and women who design, build and operate these machines, that truly determines their effectiveness. The reborn Raptor was a testament to the enduring power of the human spirit, a beacon of hope in an increasingly uncertain world. Section 7, The New Age of Air Dominance Shaping the Future of Warfare The arrival of the reborn Raptor heralded a new age of air dominance, one where the line between man and machine became increasingly blurred. Its advanced capabilities forced other nations to scramble to catch up, sparking an arms race unlike any seen before. The implications of this technological leap were far-reaching. The balance of power shifted, with those who possessed this advanced technology holding a decisive advantage. The nature of warfare itself was evolving, with conflicts potentially decided in the blink of an eye by swarms of intelligent interconnected machines. The reborn raptor was a double-edged sword. In the right hands it could be a force for peace, a deterrent against aggression. But in the wrong hands, it had the potential to unleash unimaginable destruction. The future of warfare had arrived, and it was a future fraught with both promise and peril. Section 8 a call to action, engaging in the dialogue of tomorrow. The development of the reborn raptor raises profound questions about the future of warfare and the role of technology in our world. It is a conversation that demands our attention, a dialogue that must involve not just military strategists and policymakers, but scientists, ethicists, and ordinary citizens alike. What are the ethical implications of increasingly autonomous weapon systems? How do we ensure that these technologies are used responsibly and ethically? These are not easy questions but they are questions that we can no longer afford to ignore. The future is being written today, and it is a future that will be shaped by the choices we make. Let us choose wisely. Let us engage in the dialogue of tomorrow, and together strive to create a future where technology serves humanity, not the other way around. What are your thoughts on the future of air warfare? Share your views in the comments below.